Hello, Bacho. This is Mohammed Dinatullah from the Sai Mehta Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. So, in this video, we'll be going to discuss one topic related to uh, limits over here. In this, first, we'll be discussing one example, and related to that part, uh, I'll be telling you shortcut for this part also. By seeing the question itself, how we have tried the direct answers less than three seconds over here, we'll be discussing that type of questions. Okay. Now, come on. Let us start this questions over here. What we are having now, first. Uh, Suppose if you are having the question as limit x tends to 0, limit x tends to 0, sin x divided by x. What we are having? Limit x tends to 0, sin x by x we are having over here. Now for this, what we have to do? Whenever we are applying the limit, what is the answer we are getting over here? So I think as you know, uh, we will be having some of the indeterminate forms. What will be there? Indeterminate forms. Let us see that part. What is the meaning of indeterminate forms we are having? So, indeterminate forms. Let us see this part. So, indeterminate forms we are having it as 7 indeterminate forms. How much? 7. 0 by 0. Infinity by infinity. 0 into infinity, infinity minus infinity, next 0 power 0, infinity power 0, 1 power infinity, okay. So, all the 7 indeterminate forms we are having over here. So, whenever we are applying the limit, if you are getting this type of indeterminate form, then we have to do some what changes in the question. We have to apply some other method over there. Okay, let us see this part. So, limit x tends to 0, sin x by x we are having. So, if you are substituting the x value over here, it will become what? Sin 0. Sin 0 will become 0 divided by what is x value? 0. 0 by 0. 0 by 0, we are getting indeterminate form. So, now what we have to do means uh, see this part. Okay, now we are having one expansion for sin x over here. What we are having? We are having some expansion for sin x. What is that expansion means, sir? Listen carefully. So, x minus x cube divided by 3 factorial plus x power 5 divided by 5 factorial minus x power 7 divided by 7 factorial plus so on. This is the expansion of the sin x we are having. Okay. So, now see this part. How you have to remember this expansion means, sir? You can see this, sir. We are having odd numbers x power 1 divided by 1 factorial. Okay. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. All these numbers we are having it as what? Odd numbers. And you can see the signs over here plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Alternate signs we are having over here. So if you are having alternate signs and we are having the odd numbers with the factorial, then it will become which expansion? Sin x expansion. Okay. Now let us see this part. So what we are doing means, sir, uh, limit x tends to 0. In the place of sin x, what we can write that complete expansion over here? So x minus x cube divided by 3 factorial plus x power 5 divided by 5 factorial minus x power 7 divided by 7 factorial plus so on. Okay. Now, whole divided by x. Like this concept we are having. Okay. So, sin x expansion we have taken and by x we have written over here. Now, from the numerator, let us try to take, let us try to take x as common. So, over here. So, limit x tends to 0, I am taking x as common. If you are taking x as common, what will be left? 1 minus, this part will become what? x square divided by 3 factorial plus over here x power 4 divided by 5 factorial. Next, minus x power 6 divided by 7 factorial plus so on. Okay. Again, what we are having divided by x divided by x we are having. So, now what will happen this x, x gets cancelled over here. Now, what for the remaining part, we have to apply the limits over here. Okay. So, if you are applying the limits, uh, what is the x value we are having? 0. x value 0. 0 by 3 factorial means uh, 0 by 3 factorial means 0 only. <laughs> 0 by 3 factorial 0. 0 by 5 factorial 0. 0 by 7 factorial means 0 only. So, all these numbers whatever we are having, we are getting all this part as 0. What is left over here? 1. 1 minus 0 plus 0 all that part means sir. Finally, what is the answer we are getting over here? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now, let us see this part. So, this was the actual question we are having over here. For this, uh, we will be discussing one 
टाइम सेविंग रिजल्ट और शॉर्टकट ओके लेट अस सी दिस पार्ट नाउ व्हाट वी आर हैविंग मींस सर व्हेनेवर वी आर हैविंग लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू 0 व्हाट वी आर हैविंग लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू 0 व्हाट वी हैव टू डू मींस सर सी दिस पार्ट sin a x divided by x it is equals to sin a x by x is equals to what a okay next part limit x tends to 0 tan a x tan a x divided by x it is equals to what a okay next one limit x tends to 0 if you are having sin a x divided by sin b x we are having then what is the answer a by b okay next part limit x tends to 0 we are having tan a x divided by tan b x then it is equals to a by b next part limit x tends to 0 if you are having sin a x divided by tan b x it is also equals to a by b next one if you are having limit x tends to 0 tan a x divided by sin b x then also it is equals to a by b okay this part we have taken so what i have taken over here let us concentrate which functions i have taken sin function tan function and the limit should be compulsory what x is tending to tending to zero x tends to zero should be there and sin function tan function should be there then we have to write only the a value b value that's it that's it that's it okay now but one note point we are having over here see this part in note point what we are having note 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 it is also applicable it is a also it is also applicable it is also applicable for okay first one inverse trigonometry inverse trigonometry next one hyperbolic hyperbolic functions and the next one inverse hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions okay means what we are having sin ax by x already trigonometric functions we have taken over here suppose in the place of sin x we are having sin inverse x what we are having sin inverse x if you are having sin inverse x by x also then what will be the answer a only okay next part sin h x hyperbolic we are having sin h then also we have to write the answer as same over here so this sin and tan function it is also applicable for inverse trigonometry hyperbolic inverse hyperbolic okay so we have to write the direct answers over here okay now let us revise over here see this part now okay now just now we have taken all this part let us revise it quickly then we will be starting the questions okay now what we are having limit x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equal to a tan x by x is equal to a sin x by sin b x is equal to a by b tan x by tan b x is equal to a by b sin x by tan b x is equal to a by b tan x by sin b x is equal to a by b okay only this part we are having okay now let us start the question okay before starting the question one more concept over here see this part now over here whatever the x value we are taking over here this x function whatever we are having if this x function if this x function over here this x function and this x function it is same then also we can write the same answer understood for example suppose we are having sine we are having a and this part is x square we are having okay divided by x square we are having and the limit also should be related to x square tends to 0 okay this same function same function same function should be tending to 0 then also what will be the answer a a a a a means don't write a over there what did, what is the number we are having that number we have to write okay now now let us start the questions now now let us see the questions over here fast what is the first question we are having limit x tends to 0 sin 4x by x is equals to 4 sin inverse of x by x is equals to what is the a value 1 next sin 2 by 3 x by x what is the answer 2 by 3 okay next one sin of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 we are having over here so what i have told you this x minus 2 
this is x minus 2 we are having this is also x minus 2 we are having over here okay and actually this limit what we are having over here this limit is x is tending to 2 x is tending to what 2 now listen carefully now when now we are having this concept uh, see this part x minus 2 we are having x minus 2 we are having if you are sending this plus 2 over here means what will happen x minus 2 that is tending to 0 okay same function same function and same function is tending to 0 then what we have tried what is the value we are having 1 1 1 1 1 okay now next one limit theta tends to 0 theta divided by sin theta by 3 we are having now if you are concentrating on this formula sin a x by x is equal to a we are having over here what we are having a or else we can write this part as a by 1 like this okay now if the question is reciprocal reciprocal ulta reciprocal then what we have to do answer also will become reciprocal a by 1 will become what 1 by a what is the answer 1 by a now in this question also see this part we are having reciprocal so we have tried 1 by a value over here so 1 divided by what is a value we are having 1 by 3 a value is 1 by 3 so 1 by 1 by 3 it is equals to what 3 next one limit extends to 0 sin inverse 3x by sin 4x we are having what is the numbers we are having 3 by 4 next one sin x by sin b x equals to a by b next one tan 4x by sin 2x equals to 4 by 2 2 1s are 2 2s are it is equals to what 2 okay now let us see this question now limit extends to 0 sin x degree by x is there what i have told you this function and this function should be same if it was x degree and this was also x degree then we can write the same formula but we are not having over here so one formula you have to remember over here see this part whenever we are having x degree and we have to convert into radians what we have to write uh, pi by 180 into x what we have tried uh, x degree is equals to pi by 180 into x okay so similarly over here also we will be writing that part so limit uh, x tends to 0 sin now what we are writing over here pi by 180 into x divided by what we are having x it is equals to okay this part we have taken now it is looking like sin x by x formula yes or no yes or no sin x by x is equal to what a what is a value we are having pi by 180 okay this part we have taken now next limit extends to 0 sin 2x degree by x degree now if you are seeing this question over here see this part x degree x degree same x degree x degree same over here but over here also it should be x degree now see this part now x degree x degree it is tending to if x is tending to 0 x is tending to 0 means uh, pi by 180 into 0 means what will happen x degree is also tending to 0 this is x degree this is x degree again this is also x degree tending to 0 then we have to write the same formula what is the formula 2 okay now next one limit x tends to 0 x cube minus sin x by x we are having now this question it is not looking like our uh, shortcut what we have taken so now what we are doing over here see this part limit x tends to 0 let us split the denominator if you are splitting the denominator over here x cube divided by x minus sin x divided by x we are having it is equals to okay now in this part 1x 1x gets cancelled over here what is left now x square is left if you are applying the limit for this x square answer will be what a 0 minus we are having minus again if you are applying the limit for this part over here okay limit extends to 0 sin x by x is equals to 1 what we are having 1 because a value is 1 over here 1 we have taken 0 minus 1 it is equals to minus 1 that's it okay now let us see the last question now limit extends to 0 sin x by x into cos x now let us see this one now what we are having limit x tends to 0 now what we are doing means uh, sin a x divided by x i have written separately okay i have written separately cos x uh, cos x uh, i am writing somewhat later on so what will happen 1 by cos x okay this part we have taken now it is equals to if you are applying the limit for this part sin x by x equals to what we are having a into into means into we have taken now if you are applying the limit for this part over here what is x value we are having 0 x value 0 means cos 0 is equals to 1 
This is 1. 1 by 1 is equal to 1. A into 1 is equal to A. 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 Okay. Now, with this, one more concept we have completed over here related to the topic limits. Okay. So, in our previous videos, as we have uh, discussed the shortcuts related to the extreme values, now in the coming videos, we will be discussing the shortcuts of the limits over here. In limits, I have already explained you one shortcut what we are having directly by seeing the answer. Now, uh, by seeing the question, we can write the answer over here. Okay, no need to solve anything over here. Direct answers we can write. So, in the ESET examination, without wasting our time, like that directly answers we have to write. If you are writing like this direct answers, uh, then only we will be saving our time and we can attempt all the questions whatever we are having in the ESET examination. Okay, so with this one concept we have completed over here, we will be coming with the next shortcuts of the topic limits in the coming videos. Okay, thank you very much.